Kyrie Walker was one of the most impressive middle school hoopers that we saw over the years and had a ton of hype and clout around him. But as we continue to follow his career, it seems like this dude has completely fell off the face of the planet and no one knows what's going on with him. Of course, Kyrie Walker was doing windmills, dunking on people in middle school and really looked like he was going to make the NBA with ease the way he was destroying competition at that age. You guys know by now, of course, Kyrie Walker decided to skip college basketball basketball and really train and try to make the NBA that way where of course he ended up going undrafted and then decided to end up playing for the G League Wizards squad. Now of course that was in the right direction and he was averaging around 9 points per game but there's definitely something going on with this dude that no one is noticing. Kyrie Walker actually stated on Twitter that he was not playing in the NBA G League Summer League because of personal reasons which really seems super suspect in my opinion. Someone who's trying to make the NBA and that's your top goal and vision why are you sitting out now of course there could be definitely a ton of reasons that are serious why he's not playing but again somewhere like the NBA really does not care for the reasons you're not playing there are so many people that want your spot want to take your spot and are working super hard every single day and it's a cutthroat sport you have to be there and show up every single day and give everything and give the game really everything you have which is what's tough about Kyrie Walker because there are a lot of times we just have not seen this dude step on the court. Kyrie Walker recently played in the TBT tournament, which is a professional tournament where you play against some dope hoopers and your team, if you win, gets a million dollars. Now, unfortunately, Kyrie Walker scored zero points in this tournament and went 0 for 3 from shooting. And in my opinion, this is kind of shocking to me. This seems like somewhere where Kyrie would start dominating and destroying competition and really does what he can do on the court and shows, but him just not not even scoring any points is low-key a little surprising to me and that's honestly a little concerning. Kyrie recently played in a tournament in Toronto where this dude went off for 42 points and I gotta say man he definitely was laying the ball up and looking pretty smooth there but again the competition here probably is not as as good as we saw him play in other leagues and of course man these type of games low-key do not matter because the ones that matter are really the G League game. Now it's impressive to put up 42 points but I low key a lot of people are noticing this dude didn't even take one jump shot in this highlight and it kind of reminds me even of when he was in middle school and even high school we always saw this dude would get to the rack with ease but it really his jump shot was something that was kind of questionable in my opinion and is a huge reason why a lot of people think he's going to struggle and is struggling to make it to the next level now a lot of people will point to number one he didn't go to college and number two this dude skipped his senior year and he didn't play and a lot of people believe that this is the reason why his career is suffering right now and why he's not already in the NBA. Loki, I believe Kyrie probably should have went to college because I think it would have gave him a better foundation and even some more clout in the college basketball and especially NBA scouting world to where he probably could finesse his way onto an NBA team and probably would have had a much easier time getting drafted. If you haven't heard, the son of LeBron, Bryce James, just received his first college offer and you won't believe what he said when he reacted to it so click this video on the screen